Look in the eyes of my brother. Yo! <laughs> what it is, what it do, how you be? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Inform the Honest Podcast. We want to thank y'all for joining us another week in this here 2021. In case it's your first time joining us, we are four brothers from the middle neighborhood of Gary, Indiana. We come together to converse about an array of topics, but uh, no matter what, we pride ourselves on being forthright, vulnerable, and honest. And we want to encourage you to do the same in the conversations that you have. So we hope that you enjoy the conversation. If you hear anything or uh, um, uh, connect with anything, if anything resonates with you in particular, write us at informallyhonestpodcast at gmail.com, Instagram, all of that kind of stuff. Fellas, what's going on? Audience don't know this, but we took off last week, so Mm -hmm. it's good to see you. It's good to see your faces. It's been a while. Man, uh, let's let let's let's hop into this uh, uh, newish format that we want to try out, right? So we have these three principles: being forthright, vulnerable, and honest. And the time that we're away, we're trying to apply these principles daily. So, uh, in a situation that we're uh, all pretty privy to, that may be a little bit uh, from now, uh, but surely will not be forgotten is the situation that happened in Atlanta, which Aaron, where you're at, where, uh, to put it bluntly, uh, a white man went into a nail salon due to all the perpetuated hate that's been put against Asian Americans and uh, massacred uh, five, six people. That eight uh, I thought it was a, uh, I think oh, it was well, eight, eight. I think six of them yeah. happened to be Asian. I think. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So eight dead, six of them happen to be Asian. And uh, I see a lot of these posts, you know, talking about, you know, stop Asian hate, which is very valid. Uh, and even more general statement would be, can we can we make can we stop making this an issue for minorities to deal uh, for people of color to deal with black indigenous people to deal with and just acknowledge the fact that this that this is a white supremacy thing. This is a, uh, if we and. I even saw this like bullshitty ass article that was by ABC or something like that. That was like, oh. what 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 are black people going to do to uh, support Asian people at this time? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I saw that. Why why is the conversation? Uh, and and this is this doesn't even have to be a question we address. Yeah, but it is a thing of anytime anytime uh, the white structure does some bullshit to people of color it gets put on the people of color to deal with it as if it wasn't an issue with them in the first place. It wasn't an issue with, with what whiteness does or how uh, the rhetoric around coronavirus and whatnot, uh, blaming China, blaming yada, 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 uh, just because that's where it's centralized, uh, turning that into a weapon against people. Yeah, just why would they ask black people to like, what? Why is that on black people to help them? I mean, like, I'm not saying I, obviously help is good for everybody. Um, and it's it's the kind, compassionate thing to do. But why is this specific to like, what are black people going to do for them? Well, yeah. I, don't, I don't understand that. I don't understand where that where that uh, where that article is going. I don't, I don't understand. You know, I don't know how Did they we, come out with a motive of the. It's crazy for the guy. You know, what I actually heard. I actually heard because uh, I guess. Um, it's, it's worth saying that it actually happened uh, not down the street, but a couple blocks from me. So it's mm-hmm. a little, a little close to home for real. Mm-hmm. Um, but they were saying that the guy had some like sex addiction or whatever. Now this sounds in- incredibly crazy, but what I heard is that he people crazy. Yeah, he's crazy for sure. But he uh, has like a sex con- sex addiction, so I'm sure he's gone to plenty of those before, and and you know. For for more than just a massage or whatever, like the the CD, I don't know. But it's a mas- massage parlor. I thought it was like a spa. It was, a it was massage parlor. Like yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, he apparently didn't want to be. I heard that he said he, he didn't want to be tempted. He didn't want to be tempted by the women. So you go in and and kill him. So it's you know, which will there is no good excuse for that shit. But that is just. It makes zero sense, obviously. And uh, it's my first initial reaction was, of course, just like everybody else, man, it's frustrating. 
Um, and then like, I think like around the same day I heard about it, not to make this about me, but just in my thought on like death in general, it got me thinking because my grandfather, I was getting texts that my grandfather was going through some stuff, having some illnesses or having some health issues, just going downhill, probably mainly from old age and having a pacemaker and all that. So in light of all these things, it got me thinking, at least personally, well, um, it got me thinking about like when shit like this happens, whether it's your family, somebody dies peacefully or horrific shit like what happened here down the street. I wonder, it got me thinking like, man, how fragile is my own life? You know, like really how fragile is my own life? And that so in regards to our principles, um, our, our vulnerable principle, it just really got me personally thinking how fragile is my own life? Like what different choices would I have made if I realized for sure that tomorrow or today could be my my last day and i'm it uh yeah man that's my yeah. thoughts on it outside of it being horrific that's shit is obvious the excuse mm -hmm. that he made or his motives is is entirely uncalled for but right and I'm, like i said i was frustrated angry but then part of it was like all right i don't want to spend so much of my time being energy being frustrated and angry i also want to say all right i want to put some of the energy towards asking myself how fragile is my own life every time somebody passes mm -hmm. shit could be you so condolences to the families of course that shit is a tragedy absolutely yeah. absolutely condolences to the family uh the family of the people who were lost um and i, I for for something for something like a ma mass murders done by white men it's not necessarily like a jab at white men it's just a fact for this to be such a rampant problem it, it still baffles me how much dodging people can do around it when you're like if this is the common denominator between all these things how is that not the primary thing y'all want to address yeah and and then when it does happen you know like in this case or in every case they always like you said they skate around it they find another reason like Okay, this guy was 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 battling addiction or of some sort. I'm like, it said he was having a bad day. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you, but I heard yeah. that like the police, some chief or what I don't know, somebody, yeah. whoever yeah. the fuck it was, whether it was a baby or an adult chief man of the police, <laughs> said excuse was he was having a bad day. That's what yeah. I heard, and I was like, this, all right, man. I saw There's that no no accountability clearly being taken here. Yeah. And and I just think of like, okay, say this guy's name was Assad Muhammad or something, and he went and did the same exact thing. First off, you'd probably be dead. That's that's just yeah, that. not a rest of the life. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure that people wouldn't care about any mental problems that he had. That that wouldn't that wouldn't be discussed. Yeah. It was like this guy wanted to kill innocent Americans, and we we, we took him down, and we we're, we're gonna do this to any other person that tries to threaten American life. That's along the lines of what they what they would have said. But yeah, that's it's just crazy that we keep doing this. Like not we, but they keep just giving these people a pass. It's like <laughs> that's the crazy thing for me too. Like the it seemed like they have sympathy for certain people. Like like they almost understand. Yeah. You you, you understand this in a way. Like that yeah, that's, that's kind of tells me that. Like oh, I kind of get it. But mm -hmm. if you know if it's the wrong you know color a person is like oh we gotta destroy their life and everybody around them kind of thing right it's like the one of the most frustrating parts is like are we ever gonna like have some shit that's thing. just the same it's like across just make the shit the same across the book across the board yeah make the shit the same yeah out of, like at some point this shit has to be the same across the board at some point this there's know, still we, people in jail like for for marijuana yeah yeah <laughs> That still blows. Oh man! Like, yes, something's got to change, man. Yeah, something Especially has when, got to change. Like, like in Indiana, for example, like if I was to get caught with a gram of, of marijuana, I'm gonna go to jail. But I, I literally could, I could drive forty minutes <laughs> west to Chicago and buy it from a a storefront, or I can go north and go to Michigan and do the same thing. It's like, it's like bizarre. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. So, uh, in in regards to this particular subject, um, 
win y'all corner. Um, and yeah, yeah. Uh, blessedly, I haven't, I haven't had to, well, not like that much of the world is open right now to experience any in real life, but I don't know. I'd probably square up with a motherfucker on site. If if if, if, if to see that to see that shit happen in real time, because I do that shit with black folks, and so I know I'll do it with, in this regard. And so yeah, oh man, uh, to take this into a lighter note, all right, uh, much love. Yeah, life is vulnerable, y'all. Like your yeah. life is vulnerable. Let's take yeah. this into a better way, right? So, in the fictional world, let it be comics, let it be movies, let it be TV, let it be cartoons, let it be anime, whatever. What fictional weapon are you going for? Okay. <laughs> Who's going to go? Thinking emoji. Thinking emoji. <laughs> so for me, like, so for me, I have a, a couple. Okay. Um, so, like, uh, I don't know if you guys ever watch the Hunger Games series or read anything, read the books or anything, but um, I did in the beginning. Uh, I, I, I still got feelings because uh, Suzanne Collins uh, uh, stole, <laughs> stole the shit out that story and concept. <laughs> yeah, but but there's this uh, in this is that the second one? Yeah, in the second one, there's a ca- character. I think his name is Finn or Finch. It's Finn okay. or Finch. I forgot which which one. Of them, but anyway, he has this uh, this trident. Uh, that's I, I thought was cool. It's like this stainless. I don't know if it's stainless steel, but it's this shiny. But it's not gold, like you know, like the, like the uh, what's the cartoon? Uh, the uh, little mermaid. <laughs> mermaid. It's not like golden, but it's like like mm. a silver version of that. Okay. But it, it almost looks like a, a modern take, I guess. And I just mm-hmm. thought it was cool. But mm. and it, it still makes me think of like, um, the Hunger Games in general. I know we talked about this before. How it was like a Jap- based off of a Japanese uh, story. Mm-hmm. But regardless. Battle Royale. Yeah, but regardless of that, just seeing this guy throwing his trident into children, it's just like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's my first one. Okay. My second one. Oh, what's up? No, I was gonna say I uh, I got one. Oh yeah, you can go ahead. I'll go later. Yeah. Uh so uh as y'all know, I'm a big anime nerd. Uh in an anime called Bleach. There is a uh, there's a particular villain named Aizen uh, 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 Aizen Sosuke or Sosuke Aizen. I can't remember which one is first, right? Uh, and he's like mad powerful and all that. But the thing about Bleach is um, every person has a sword that's made out of their soul, and so uh, no two people have the same. No two people have the same weapon. The custom, <laughs> yeah, and so his was uh, the power of his is that he can put anybody under complete hypnosis, mm. and so it was it was moments where like uh, he would make people believe that he was fighting them or that they killed him, and he they were actually like killing their friend mm. Mm. and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, like his his power is like ridiculous and he as a he as a character was real dope too um he was probably like uh one of the he's like a great villain okay okay so that that that's one all right i got one, <laughs> I got one. <laughs> i'm inspired now um <laughs> i'm a lord of the ring I'm, I'm a pretty big lord of the rings fan although i haven't watched the shit in, in probably years but uh mm-hmm. i'm going with the ring the ring, the one ring to rule them all. <laughs> that was that 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 was that that comes from the fires of Mordor. Besides the power of invisibility, what does the ring do? Like what powers does that ring have? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> that was one thing I never really got because admittedly, no, I, I, I never I never watched the third one because I got bad arthrophobia and giant spiders mm-hmm. can't do it. Um, uh, but I, I was like, so it's the, it's the thing that rules them all, but all it does is make you invisible. I'm really confused about why that power <laughs> is like, uh, when you wilt that ring, you're virtually <laughs> it's because everybody wants it. <laughs> like, why <laughs> though? Not like what, what is, what power is it granting? I don't know. I mean, I don't you know got that, yeah. but it takes you to that other world. Man. I agree. I don't, I don't know <laughs> what else it did, but I know that when you were around it, it made you want it for, for, for there was like this uh att- attachment to it uh 
because I always think about that scene when um Bilbo is talking yeah. to uh, Frodo. It's like in the mm-hmm. first movie, yeah. and uh, he just snaps out of nowhere. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, and, and so yeah. that's yeah, telling yeah, me the, the crowd out of me. Man. But the, so the, the thing the is, it's insidious. Yeah, it, it slowly but surely it does like weigh on you because of people's because of man's you know weakness towards power or whatever, and they're like how we fancy power. It, it seemed like it was insidious, and it slowly but surely it might kill you. It so, dri- so the ring drive you insane. So the ring um, is a bad bitch. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but to my understanding, like it, it does virtually like like when you're wearing it. I don't know that you can actually die, like while like, like while you have it on. Uh, more like rings, it's, more it's, problems. It comes from the power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The power of more, like the, like the like the night riders and the uh, yeah. You want them dudes to come follow you, man. What's up? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that's the cre- that's, but like Dooms. you. You have the power of <laughs> all the yeah. all the negativity <laughs> or badness. Well, <laughs> the, and that's what I'm saying. All like, the greatest evils. It, Want it, them it goes on horseback to come. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can at any moment, you're going to show up. <laughs> the night like, riders. You 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 got you got you got like some. Uh, you got the four horsemen. You got an army. You got like what. What manifestation do you, do you get like the zombie apocalypse on your side? Like, oh, that's what? a that's a good question. I sure <laughs> like, hope so. You have the eye of I forgot what the damn thing is though. Sauron? That's the one. Sa- Sauron. I have, I have Sauron. It may be and, whatever um, you imagine. That's like, that's like, that's like that's calling. Probably... I wonder. I wonder. But like, it just seems like the way they had it in the movie and the book is like that ring is is the greatest thing ever. <laughs> and and I, like, I, I'm just, with you. Everybody's afraid of like man, whoever has that fucking ring will rule all the kingdoms, all the lands. You know, because you have the greatest. You have the ring to rule them all. But and, <laughs> once, and, once you got that motherfucker, you know, ain't no. <laughs> yo, nobody, why. You, you, yo, nobody in Halo <laughs> can snipe you out from like 12, 20 miles away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was that was just my like. I, I never got why. I never. No, I used to. Like I, I think though. I think in like in regards to that, I think it was because like you were. I think that was the perspective of people who were who were like considered good, always like fighting the evil. Like he never gave in to the evil. If he did, maybe he would have gotten like all those powers. But it's like his journey trying to end this evil ring. Yeah, it was like symbolic for humanity. Yeah, that's yeah. why I, he, he never mm-hmm. embraced all the powers of the. Of the evil that came with the ring, and that was a whole fight back and forth. Yeah, I know that that movie mm-hmm. and story in general, because I know it's not just a movie. I know there's a lot of deeper mm-hmm. philosophical, yeah. you know, meanings to that. And I would yeah. like, I would like to watch it again just to see if I could like, because I watched it as a kid, so I'm, I'm just watching it for the action, really. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> you want to spend that ten or eleven hours on a on, yeah. on, a, on a weekend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a long, that's a uh, journey right there. Yeah. It is. yeah. I'm always amazed that like one person can write something like that, like such an epic tale. Yeah. What like, was dope to me all is the, the characters the, is crazy. Where they went to record it and like the world they created. Oh like, yeah, it's like it's a real something? actual. Yeah, yeah. I believe they were they were in like Ireland, weren't they? Yeah, I think uh, yeah. some place like Ireland? that, and like and they I know got some some place like Iceland sure. or some place like. I think there's probably maybe. multiple locations, but I know I know I know Hold New on. Zealand for sure. Like you got the park on the look at you the cool man. You got the, you got yeah, you got the Yo, yo, that's part of the power that come with the ring, the power of the internet. Hey. Back there. Comes with responsibility. Yeah, like, yo, but like, the dude uh the, the the dude who played uh ah shit. I'm I'm blanking right now. Um, the dude, the, the precious. Like, I love this shit, but I, uh, my, my mind. Yes, the dude yeah. who plays Smigel. He had that, like he had that that suit on, and it was like really just mm-hmm. a dude in that in that CG suit, like rolling around in like a creek and like all over the ground. It's crazy to see. Yeah. A Wasn't that the dude, dude acting like that? Um, he wait, was the guy from the, from Fargo, right? No, nah, he, uh, nah. he played Bill, Bilbo Baggins. He played Bilbo Baggins, yeah. But I think the play Smeagol was actually the guy that, that played the villain in the the Black Panther. Black Panther. Oh, okay, that was him. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I don't know his name, but I know who you're talking about though. And I didn't even know that was him until I saw him on like some late night show, and he was doing hmm. the voice. <laughs> it yeah. Looks like the answer is New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. The points to go to Aaron. 
No, it was. I mean, it was, was actually. It? it was Adam. I think it was Adam. <laughs> I think it was Adam. Oh, <laughs> I agree. I'm sorry. I agree. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> I gave him your point. <laughs> the game is rigged. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bad. I'm a right. bad Will of Fortune host. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, get down right there, Steve Harvey. <laughs> um, all right. So it's either the ring, or what's the uh, sword on Halo that was like the the, the the light sword or whatever? Who was that? Oh, like the, the saber. The energy like sword. Saber, the, ener- the energy sword. sword. Mm. I'm sticking out with it. as hell, man. Mm. Yeah. One swipe and it's the game over. My brother got uh got one of his uh his groomsmen that for his wedding. <laughs> and I bet you he had the fuck he had to put the ring on first. Those <laughs> <laughs> well, things have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimate the power, power, the power. Right the power. <laughs> Marco, what you got? So I could think of a lot of them, man. But um, actually. You made me. You made me think of Soul Calibur mm. when you were still talking yeah, about. Like, and cool they got like a there. crazy. A lot of their weapons are cool, yeah. but um, even though those are so cool, I gotta go with the Star Wars lightsaber, man. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. God, I mean, it just gotta be said. You know, I just want to be able to like, like cut a. Hold through a wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, my one question or, about or that though steel is: steel or something. Which but one? Can it block? But can it block real bullets? Yeah, <laughs> that's my question. I know, I know, it can block the, the you know, the bullets from Star Wars. I think, I think they will probably, they will probably melt if they, if yeah, they, maybe if, if a maybe. bullet hit it, it will melt definitely. Maybe okay, okay. Um, but which color though? I, I, I was going to say which version because you got the Darth Maul well, double yeah. ended. Yeah, you got the double ended. You got yeah. Um, you got I think, uh you got the curve hilt. I got I got to go I got to go uh classic man. I might I might go with the even though I like I like red. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I, I want to say red but I don't want to be you know dark. You want to be a, a Sith. Just a Sith. <laughs> you want to be yeah. You want to be vice lord. You want to be vice lord. <laughs> 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 My color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. watch what you rap. Right? Nah, watch what you rap. <laughs> I, 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 I'm rocking the blue for a reason. Right? Yo, it, it would definitely be that if it was real life, like a real weapon. Like, <laughs> yeah, they would definitely incorporate the game colors with it. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably go with the purple one. You know, Sam. Are going for that? Not, not, not that based. On, yeah, <laughs> not based off of any of their uh, whatever mm-hmm. you call it. Tenants or whatever. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I don't know if y'all know about this, but uh, because I know some like extra Star Wars lore, uh, it all has to do with uh, the crystal, not the person. So, like upon your like um, Jedi journey and all of that kind of stuff, you have to go get this particular kind of crystal. So they give you the frame of the lightsaber, but until you get that crystal, you can't really use it. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't know uh, that. So it's a it, it literally is a lightsaber because it's a light reflection a light refraction from that crystal making the sword. And the story uh, the story in the beginning is about a crystal. Hmm. Um, I don't I don't really know it. I just remember like I can't remember what it's called about like the beginning Kaiser or something. Um, yeah, but uh, uh, and so the the thing about uh the Sith is by you you get your color somewhat by imbuing your force into it. And because the Sith are tainted, that's why they all end up red. Mm, okay. But all the other ones are like, um, all the other ones are like based on kind of that person. Hence why like all the gray Jedi usually have like either white or yellow. Um, Mace Windu was a, close to being a gray Jedi because he, w- he was a Jedi, but he was actually the strongest hand-to-hand combat fighter. Uh, because he would use uh, Sith, te- uh, he would use Sith techniques, but he was he had like strong enough will that he wouldn't be taken over by the by the uh, Sith, uh, okay. taken over by the uh, the dark side or whatever. It was like all of that kind of stuff. Hence, why his shit was purple, and nobody else really had a purple one, and why Mace didn't have um didn't have apprentices because every apprentice he ever had, he had like three or something like that, and all of them went to the Sith because they couldn't handle his techniques without mm-hmm. being corroded. Hmm. Man, that's just that's so kind of how uh, Street <laughs> huh? Fighter. That's like the same um, idea for like Dark Ryu and all of that. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. 
Akuma. This is some, this is some proper schooling <laughs> <laughs> for, for me, anyway. <laughs> and now we, and since we normally got Marco's conspiracy corner, we've also got Josh's geek time. And so, uh, <laughs> um, I need a segment. Yeah. Let me see if I got another one for you. Um, no, we're just talking about weapons. We're not talking about like powers. We're just talking yeah, about that's, ah. yeah, oh, that's yeah, why the that. that's why the ring thing was kind of like is that really a weapon? What is a weapon that will give you power? Yeah, I guess that's different. Yeah, yeah. if you have power, if you have power, I that you don't of, need the weapon for. I thought about this it. deeply. <laughs> 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 that, that, that's not a bad. That's not a bad uh, um, stipulation. I guess. Yeah, man. My shit was valid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my yeah, second would be the uh, the Power Rangers, the uh, the flute sword. I was thinking that too. Hey, the uh, Green Ranger. The, 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 that's, the power, that's an amazing power. Hey, was that the Green? Power the white. <laughs> Wait, that was the Green left. Ranger, right? Green Ranger had the dagger. White had the 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 saber with the tiger head. Okay, that would talk Saba. I'm trying to think what show is that with the uh, the person's power. Well, I guess oh, we're yeah. not doing powers. Um, their power is like that they absorb other people's powers, even for a limited amount of time. Uh, heroes? Is that? I, I, yeah, I know it's from Heroes. Agnes? But I think there's someone. There's <laughs> Peter Petrelli on Heroes had that power as well. I thought that'd be kind of cool. I feel like I feel like that power exists for a lot of different like universes and yeah, and, yeah. yeah. So. It's not a specific weapon, but again, gonna stay in my anime corner. Uh, there, there's one called a uh, D Gray Man, where uh, that there, there's this uh, material called innocence, and so and so what it is is uh, uh, like in, like a clothing uh, fabric called innocence. Actually, <laughs> kind of yes. Yeah. <laughs> So, so what it is is, uh, innocence can come in two forms, and that's either uh, like as a weapon or as a uh, uh, a parasite. Okay. And so the thing is, <laughs> is that it polyester it's, or. <laughs> <laughs> so, so really, uh, so like the main characters are, uh, they they claim that they're like a part of the church, and the main person they're going uh, that they're trying to fight is Satan, but he goes by the Millennium Earl, and he looks like a like a big clown, and. Uh, and so, in a sense, like if it gets put into a weapon, then uh, you got to like sync up with it. And like, let's say it's one dude who has like a little hammer that can become like a big ass hammer. One girl has boots that can make her go real fast, kick real hard, all that kind of shit. Mm. Or if you have a parasite, it's like it gets imbued into your body in some way and can affect your body. And so, uh, this one dude uh, is in his arm. And so, his arm can either like turn into like a big claw or he can make it into a sword. Uh, Mm. You're talking about another, the, the anime? Yeah, D Gray Man. Uh another dude, uh, it got put in his in his teeth, and so he ended up like becoming a vampire. I thought you were talking about uh parasite. No, 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 no. Uh uh it, it it's called like a parasitic in a sense. Parasite is cool though. Man, the home, I know, the I homie Miggy. So, <laughs> so for me, um, have you guys played Fallout or know, know anything about Fallout? I don't know anything about it, but I, I, uh, but I know of it. Yeah, right. cool weapons too. Yeah, <laughs> so uh, there's this uh, mini rocket launcher on there called it's called a Fat Boy. So it's actually called a Fat Man, and it's not necessarily a mini rocket launcher. It's more so a rocket launcher that shoots mini nukes. Uh, and I use I like I love that weapon, man, because like especially like if you're if you got to fight like a crazy. Horde, yeah, or, or like crazy. I'm, th there's this one. It's called a. It's called a thing. It's called a death claw. Um, mm. th that's that's like it's like this. It looks like a dinosaur essentially, but <laughs> it's like a thing, and it, it will kill you very easily. But <laughs> if you got the fat boy, and you can you can take it out with like two shots. So uh, yeah, that's it. It's, it's like a mini rocket launcher, but it's awesome. <laughs> mm, I always okay. felt like rocket launchers would be so fun to use. Yeah, <laughs> you, it, I, I hate like. Wait, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, like, if you know you got like the, <laughs> the support in order to handle thing. whatever that kickback is. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> I think I, I hate some it, serious like, yoga after that. Games. 
You say hey, yeah, white people marker? in Call of Duty games that uh, just run around with the rocket launcher or like <laughs> games like that. I see that. It's a it's a thing, man. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Cherry picking playing. on those games, man. I stopped playing them because, like, it got so bad. Or it's like, I mean, like, people just will just camp. It's like, yes, and you and you, and it's when you're not even funny anymore, they, and, they, and they know where you're gonna respawn and they just fucking yeah. snipe you again. Come on, yeah. Come on. <laughs> I'm nice, I'm nice at Call of Duty, man. Yeah, I, I, I <laughs> thought about. I'm getting back into it because i haven't played since man like i don't know which one it was but this was probably like mid teens like 2014 15 whatever was out at that time probably like uh, modern warfare or something like that well Whoa. i know i know i played modern warfare 2 and 3 i think black ops 3 maybe black ops 3 i think that was the last yeah. one i played man what what else what I, yeah the rocket launcher was a really good one <laughs> That was a really good one. I'm trying to get that five. Uh, Modern Warfare five? No, P- PS5. Oh. PS5. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. That I'm a wait. Vague to say. I'm trying to get that five. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna wait too. Because like, apparently yeah, it people still Jordan fives. Could be. Yeah. <laughs> apparently, people are still having a hard time by finding them. So, mm. and for me, I want I don't want to get one until I can just walk into Best Buy calmly. Right. And that's, walk out with it. <laughs> that's what I'm, I'm trying that's, to do too. That's like. my speed, <laughs> man. I, I haven't played. I'm not, to, I'm not trying to go through all that to get. Yeah, it. <laughs> I didn't get a PS4 until they were out for like what, for like three years. <laughs> when I finally mm. got a PS4. <laughs> it's been too long since I played video games, bro. I would. I just know that, like, if I jump back on, I'm gonna be damn near addicted again. It's gonna, it's gonna be all I do <laughs> on my weekends. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I stay, I gotta stay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm with I'm with you on that. I haven't uh I haven't played in a good minute. Cause I got I, the both of the games that I was invested in, I got stuck on uh Horizon Zero Dawn and um what's that Star Wars game? The the last Star Wars game that came out. Uh Ooh. I can't think of it. I think I played it. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, I only played the same Fallen two games. Order. That's what it is. Fallen Order. Yeah. 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 Um, I got stuck on both of them because Horizon Zero Dawn is beautiful and everything, but the way they uh, they give you free range to set up your weapons and powers how you want to, and then I got to a point uh, part when I was I got stuck. You know, you look at some gameplay online. And all of them are like, oh, yeah, you definitely going to need this thing. And I'm like, well, why would you why would you let me freely do what I want to do if I'm definitely going to need this particular thing for this particular part? <laughs> yeah, I, I hate what happens <laughs> in games where, like, you put so much time into it and then you just reach your place where it's like, I can't do anything. Like, like, like I love mm-hmm. Fallout. Like, I love Fallout. But um, there's points where, like, you get to a place where, like, if, if you're not, you know, this amount if you don't have this amount of power or strength or whatever mm-hmm. like you're pretty much you're pretty much you could do that's <laughs> yeah. the thing with games like you now gotta start over <laughs> well first of all they make you have to buy something yeah in order yeah, to a lot of freemium achieve. gaming so mm-hmm. like i'm sure if adam bought something on that game like <laughs> on fallout he'll be able to pass it like yeah they Not used the... to make games complete where you know yeah it's, a, it's an entertaining in time just right to play the game itself <laughs> now you got to pay mm-hmm. for the the better experience I, I even though you bought the game already <laughs> i actually saw a story uh recently there's some guy i think it was like england i don't know what game it was but it was like he like you know the company whatever game it was company claimed that you know like that, that you can build your character however you want without actually buying anything although that, that that's an option if you want to mm-hmm. but the guy was like he he must be like a, a math we or something but he did like the math he's like if i actually wanted the character I need it would take me twenty thousand hours, or you could pay eighty thousand dollars pound, eighty thousand pounds. Like that, Dang. that's how much it would cost to actually wow build the character that he wanted. Uh, now I'm not sure that that character that he wanted to build that doesn't mean that you, you need that character, but right because <laughs> I don't know what this I don't even know what game this was, but I just saw the story. <laughs> it's like it's just funny that he spent all that time to debunk yeah. what they said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, what if he actually spent all that money to find out? Yeah. I wouldn't hope. 
Yeah. Are we broke trying that. to figure this out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I actually hear that's like a, like an industry like where people like like there's people that you could that you can pay people and they'll do like all the stuff for you and then like you'll have your yep. character like or whatever like if you're trying like to they, like it's crazy they sell like careers like in 2K like somebody yep. mm-hmm. will build your character and get you to a certain point or whatever and you could pay them or yeah <laughs> or you advance so far in the game or something yeah. like i guess it's like an ebay thing where you you just take the the login information or mm-hmm. something like that it's crazy. man so many ways to get this money that's gonna be a cool job i don't think about that like i just yeah. sit at home and play video games make that's, thousands a, of dollars. <laughs> that's a whole new like feel lane yeah <laughs> for for you know that yeah, rich, it's... rich people who game created <laughs> it's so crazy I don't like growing up when we were in like middle school, maybe even high school. Do we could you have ever imagined that like that would be an option to like as a career to play video games and make money? Let's say, let's say middle school when I was playing yeah. like, yeah, I mean, I, and you know. by the time by, by our age, my bad, I don't, uh, by our <laughs> like, age, like sixth, seventh, eighth grade, yeah, like, uh, video games as a career was a thing in the 80s. I didn't well, know that. I, th- I think it it existed at a at a much smaller scale. Well, definitely it did. But yeah. I oh, do definitely remember, a smaller scale. But yeah. yeah, but I do remember like uh, commercials <laughs> saying like, "Get into the uh, business." Like, is the you know fastest growing? Like, as far as being a developer mm-hmm. oh. and, and and testing games, I believe they had commercials for those. Like, be a yeah, all the game testing. tester. Yeah, I recall seeing that. Yeah. I'm like, right. yeah, that, like, how can you make money off of that? And who like? Who's gonna pay you? Like you, they would they would say it vaguely. Like you can get paid for playing video games. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I know. I think I brought this up on like a couple of last episode or something like that about uh that documentary Game Over on Netflix. Mm-hmm. But they were talking about like what that looked like when you were a video mm. game tester. Mm. Um, mm. and it was a thing of they would get a game <laughs> and their job was to beat the game and write down everything necessary to beat it. That's, and that's what, a great uh, idea. And what would happen is, and they, uh, the developers gave them the manual for things to look up and all that stuff. And so what they would do is, that was one part of it. The other part was customer service, where uh, people will call in, and you have to play the game at the part where they're doing it to help them. Oh wow, dude, that's a that's great crazy. idea. Because that, like, that really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah bro. in real time with them. So that so Video that you can, that's <laughs> so that if a person is stuck on that part of the game, you're like, oh, okay, so here's what you got to do, and like they're doing it at the same time so that they can. They probably be on it like yeah. you stupid, like you can't get it, like press L two, L two, do it fast, like trying to do a special <laughs> move or something. <laughs> you gotta hit it fast. You gotta rotate the stick, man. <laughs> at the same yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to do that's the fine. super dragon punch. It's not <laughs> but, but that's really cool because uh I, re- I yo, there definitely were some games that were just too easy to beat. It's like I wasted sixty dollars for this <laughs> game I can beat in like two days. I, I want to struggle a little bit. But like there's also games work. like yeah. uh that old that old Lion King on Sega that was <laughs> impossible to beat. Oh man. <laughs> man, like, man. I was playing at Aladdin, man. I, I rarely oh, ever beat games. Like I like I don't know. Really? I'm just not I'm not good at games to that way. Like <laughs> there's very, like there's very it, few games that I can like say that I've beat like from beginning to end. Man, them old oh. school games really challenge you. Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. Bro. And I was like, and man, it's supposed to be fun. So I'm done. So, no. I, th- I think they, <laughs> they physically challenge you too because like just the the mechanics of the old stuff, mm-hmm. some of those games were like this is impossible. Like <laughs> <laughs> my fingers can't go over here that fast, or like this, Yo, is, I, this is an impossible game. I'll I'll never forget. I uh Mario Tennis made me cry. <laughs> like <laughs> was that it was it was that on it was a uh, uh no, it was on like Game oh, Boy Advance or something. Oh, oh okay. okay. There was, there oh, was yeah, something on something on Wii. <clears throat> yeah, there was a tennis game on Wii, but that's not it. it yeah, it, I'm. No, it, it was definitely way. It was old, old, old. It might have yeah. even been on like Game Boy. I, I actually had that game. I had that game. I remember that. 
it was a secret stage because Mario wasn't in the game. That was <laughs> like you could you couldn't play as Mario in the in the original Mario Tennis and so mm-hmm. uh or something like that. It was some character. I'm pretty sure it was Mario. And I got in Mario was actually like a secret stage. You had to go through the story mode and never lose a single game in order to go against Mario. And they built it into the game that uh if you opened it, you could never open it again. <laughs> If if you lose, and so if you win, you get Mario embedded into your game. If you lose, oh, you know. never try again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I got I was I was beating his ass nervously <laughs> up until the last game. I was ahead by like two games. He came back and demolished me as I was about to win, and I cried. <laughs> Man, sports yeah. games will do that. Like, <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll be letting you win. In all sports, like football, mm-hmm. they'll be letting you win in like that fourth quarter or whatever, whatever the last segment is. <laughs> the game <laughs> just, just come back and just like, no, nah, I'm not gonna lose. Hit you with a good, you yeah. thought? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah. Mario games got some of the best. Like, in like, it's just rewarding playing them, like more than some other games. Mm. I got this Mario RPG game for uh, Super Nintendo. That they said is like one of the, I guess it's one of the hardest games. It's like it's kind of like a Zelda mm. type I'm trying to remember uh, what game. What was the name I think of it's it? literally called uh, uh Mar- um, hold on, RPG. Like it says, <laughs> is RPG. <laughs> yeah, RPG this is Mario. what this is. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is like RP, RPG. What Mario. you see is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is literally Super Mario RPG. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's dope. It's a dope game. Yo, this shit has a 4.9 out of 5. Yeah, it, it's dope. Mm. Like Mario My- don't don't play. <laughs> what is, what is my it? favorite Mario is, is uh sixty Mario sixty four man when you when you're yeah, that shit was, out of like painting that shit was great. Yeah. yeah, I remember that one. That was mm-hmm. amazing. And it's yeah, really hard to get all those fuck, all sixty of those stars or whatever, or hundred whatever. I remember that detail. <laughs> 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 well, then. <laughs> so let me ask y'all a question. Uh, I think so. <laughs> there it is. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I got lost. <laughs> is there anything you used? Is there anything you used to do that you wish you never stopped doing? Yes, I got. But you go ahead. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll, I'll I'll go first. Mine is not like nothing deep. It's like an actual <laughs> task or whatever you want to call it. But practical, um, I guess. Yeah, I used to cut hair. I used to have a few people that I cut and I um got pretty good at it. Like I'm I'm pretty good at it. And uh I actually just recently like bought some more clippers, but it used to bring in a little money and it was it was like a fulfilling thing to do. It's like it's kinda actually I I, I like said as a task, but it's actually more like an art to it. Mm-hmm. So it's that. pretty fun to do also. And something that makes money, so it's like a perfect thing to <laughs> to do. So yeah. that's yeah, that, one. That's something that I really need to pick back up. That's that double whammy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. I, I think. Uh, but, I feel like before I you go, Adam. That. Oh, yeah, no, I said. I just. I, I'm. Saying, I'm thinking. I feel like I remember that that me, era. Me yeah. <laughs> uh, this. I'm not contributing. I'm just saying. Is there anything that throws your eye off more when you realize someone's lining is in the middle of their forehead? Like what like like this part that's supposed to be on the side of your face is like over oh, here. Oh man. <laughs> hey, that yeah. one Jamie Foxx <laughs> that Jamie Foxx y'all got to look up that picture, man. It was his line was like that. It was like <laughs> he had like that uh Anthony Davis <laughs> I'm I'm trying not to tilt my head forward too much. I'm trying to keep my <laughs> you know as I as I laugh at that Jamie Foxx comment, I'm trying to keep my head like <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, his was like his was his was phony. It was <laughs> something going yeah, on. Yeah, that drawn on thing. Yeah. Like, for me, like <laughs> I, I have 
I have such a hard time finding people who can cut my hair because for whatever reason, for whatever reason, my natural line is just weird. It's just, a mm. very, it's just, yeah, it's just you got weird. the, um, what they call it. Dang. Well, what I know like, you? well, I know like in the middle, that yeah. part that's like thinner, actually that was from, I got burned there when I was a kid. Oh, <laughs> mm. so that's why that, that part is this thin, um, uh, but honestly, regardless of that, it's just even like on the sides, it's just it's just uneven. I mean, I, I think, think I actually cared. cut your hair once, maybe. Really? <laughs> I don't remember if you did, but nah. and maybe. with that fade. <laughs> I, don't know. I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe you did. I feel like I don't know. Maybe you did. But um I actually never stopped doing it. I just like didn't don't <laughs> don't have the uh Clientele amount of yeah amount of clientele at all so hmm. that's what i'm trying to do word well adam you were about to say something yeah no i was saying like like i just it's so hard for me to find a person to cut my hair the way that i like it to be cut like it's been very few people <laughs> in my life that's done it like this is correct so what, like happened, what happened <laughs> to keep you from, like going to them consistently wait what's up so do you are you still with a person that does that consistently or no but that's the thing like because i moved around so much it's like mm. it's like at this point i don't i stopped caring it's like whatever man just just do it just i don't care you gotta <laughs> but, uh, you gotta flew I'll get them it out. over with yeah but um yeah it, it got to a point where it's like I don't, I don't even care that much anymore it's like whatever it's just hair I, I, long as I don't look look crazy i haven't gotten a haircut in so long which is why i've been wearing a hat this entire season uh <laughs> <laughs> i haven't gotten a haircut yeah. since like october at this point but uh which is crazy i, I, I know the feeling <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> oh man yeah i just i just started doing it myself I, I got this thing called a cow lick that just does not allow me to have a, oh, you got a that decent lining that alfalfa a cow, <laughs> a cow, yeah a cow lick will not allow you to have a proper lining man so I just do this shit myself, you know, yeah. save myself 16 to 20 bucks a pop. Make yeah, when I was when I was still getting uh, haircuts, I didn't care that much, especially because I would only do it like once every like two, three months, even though my hair grows pretty fast. Um, I would just go to barber schools because I was like, yeah, you know, I yeah, appreciate y'all work. But that 20, 30 dollars that y'all trying to charge because we in Chicago. I don't know about that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The prices keep going up. Yeah. Man, I was like, "Yo, forty dollars nice a haircut." Like, back in it. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Capitalize on some of that mar- yeah. on that market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I went to fifty dollars. <laughs> Especially if you, you end up having to do like house <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, I gotta charge you for gas and and yeah, plus and benefits. <laughs> plus benefits. <laughs> plus I gotta. Uh, distribute to my Roth IRA too, so you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just open up taxes. That, that young LLC real quick. <laughs> Coronavirus tax. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah but, my um, stimmy goes straight to the. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but great. what's the, what's the question? Oh yeah, what did we stop doing? What did you stop doing that you yeah. that you wish you uh, hadn't? So for me, it's definitely going to be musical instruments, so, and it, there's a history of this. So like. When I, was I remember like, the, u- the ukulele times. I remember yeah. those. Well, even well before then, like when I was six or seven, I actually was taking uh, piano lessons. Sorry, yeah, I was, I'm, my bad. Are you good? Are you good? Your <laughs> 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 I know his biography. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think I was. Actually, I don't think I was six. I mean, I might have been more like eight or nine. Uh, where I was taking lessons to play the piano or piano lessons. It's an easy way to say that, but um. <laughs> and my mom stopped. I ended up stopping because I wouldn't practice. And my mom's like, I'm not going to pay, you know, pay for this every week if you're not even going to practice, you know, the the lessons, or whatever. But looking back, I'm like, man, I wish I would have just like actually did that because like it'd be nice to be able to play an instrument, you know, very well. Because at this point, mm-hmm. I would have had over 20 years of experience, <laughs> you know. So yeah, I think that would be cool. Um, mm-hmm. Then, as you mentioned before, you know, like back in like maybe 2014, I started playing the uh, ukulele and I actually got pretty decent. I I mean, I got I was when I would call a 
good intermediate player. I was wasn't an expert or anything, but I was pretty good for an intermediate, you know, level player. Then then I was like, okay, this is fine. I'm gonna buy a uh, a, a guitar, <laughs> a guitar. <laughs> And I started playing that and I got okay, you know, I got kind of okay at that. And then when I uh, got to, to Florida, um, I just kind of stopped <laughs> and started getting more into woodworking. Cause the reason why I was getting into these instruments, well, the way I got good in a short amount of time is cause I was in Korea at the time and it wasn't mm-hmm. anything else to do. Cause I wasn't in the Northern or the central part of South Korea, which is closer to Seoul, or whatever, where there's a lot of mm-hmm. stuff to do. I was in the southern part of South Korea where there's just farms and there was nothing to do <laughs> down there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, except drink. So it's either drinking <laughs> or play my guitar and, and ukulele. So mm-hmm. I did all three of those. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, I got really good in a short amount of time. But then when I got to Florida, I was like, okay, now I'm about to get back into woodwork and like I was doing in South Carolina. So I kind of just put all the instrument stuff on on the back burner. So I'm going to say, you know, I wish I would have kept up with the, the instrument stuff because I have a, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm, I'm musically inclined, but I just wish I would just take advantage of that and just go full in on that. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to say music. I wish I would, would but I'm, I'm going to, I'm definitely going to get back into it though. Like I'm, I'm, it's, I'm not going to just never pick up anything again i'm gonna try to get back into it probably won't spend as much time because there's other stuff I, I have going on but i just want to spend like just a little bit of time a day and then go from there so. i'm the same way with the uh with the piano i got mm-hmm. pretty much the same story <laughs> <laughs> but uh my son actually been been taking drum and piano lessons oh, nice. for a while yeah. well i won't say a while probably get, get like them rhythms and melodies so I be I play with him and uh, pretty much learning a lot uh, with with him. Nice. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, I think, he's still in the in the beginning stages, but it's like yeah. refreshing for me to work. I'm gonna say, me. I think all kids should at least be introduced to music, mm-hmm. well, in arts in general, whether whatever yeah. art form you want to just insert art, but um. Mm-hmm. Musical instruments, though, they're like so learning the a different language. They're like learning. Uh, I, I saw that before. I just didn't, <laughs> I didn't put put it together. But um, because learning a musical instrument is almost like learning another like language, mm-hmm. especially if you can, if, especially if they're learning like sheet music and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, because you, you have yeah. a lot of people out there that are are extremely good at what they do, but they can't read sheet music, and that's fine. I'm not saying you, you know, that, yeah, that doesn't matter. Either. Yeah, that, most of them. Yeah. But um, yeah, just I think learning any any instrument like doesn't even matter. It's like I think that's a a cool thing, like regardless of your age. And that's another thing. Um, I think it's cool that that's one of the few things out there that you can do at any age. I mean, depending on your body, like obviously if you break your arm, it's gonna be hard to play a piano. But you know, for the most part, as long as you have basic operation of your body, you, you can play mm. music until you die. And that's really mm. cool about. You know, it's a very good point. Yeah, yeah. Very Stim- few things stimulating. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. I I definitely would go with one being skateboarding. I just don't skate mm-hmm. as hard as I used to. Like, I mean, even in regard, I wish I would have kept going and trying to involve and in trick in, in like difficulty, mm-hmm. um, in le- well level of difficulty because I just remember still how good it feels. To try so hard and then land that trick, like uh, that new trick, man. I and try like the, so hard. And, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that and that first try Fridays and shit like that, just working on it so hard and then finally landing it, man. It was so fulfilling. Mm-hmm. And I just remember feeling so good. And I remember there was one time when I could like tangibly see myself. Oh wow, I am progressing. Like wow, mm-hmm. I, I feel I could do a kickflip after five tries instead of 45 like it is now i remember those you know? ollie sessions and just like <laughs> I, just, I still say that to this day yeah just uh just yeah man just feeling good yo the 
the freedom was better than breathing, but, <laughs> you know. Um, but just yeah, there was a really a point when I was like, man, I, I really thought that like I could get sponsored. I really thought that okay, if I keep progressing like this, it's possible to make money from this, and it didn't happen. <laughs> but uh, but um, yeah, that's something that it like didn't happen yet. Yeah, yeah. That I, there was one point where I, like I I didn't have that the quote unquote adult fears and stuff of responsibility mm. and shit. I was like, man, I could actually fucking do this. Wow. You know, and my aunt set me straight, but it's cool. But <laughs> no, no, no. I, had, I had this crazy dream, man, about about skating. Like I went to like Japan, <laughs> some, some Asian country, man. I, I think I went to Japan and entered entered in this skating contest like randomly. Like, okay, yo, I, think I, could, I think I could like do. I could pull some off, man. Like I was. <laughs> I, I at least got a 360 that, big spin. I at least got a yeah, big spin. Like, I can do it with the with the pressure on me. <laughs> and I remember like these kids was like grinding like a long time, like around corners and stuff. And I'm like, dang, like I, I could probably pull it up. Some, somehow I put together something like I, I won like sixth place or something like that. <laughs> No, um, I love that you had this uh this story mode Tony Hawk uh experience. <laughs> <laughs> it was like when, it was like when you on underground like, street, <laughs> like when you, on, you go on Street Fighter, you like the in the in the, on the uh career mode or whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the the plane fly to the country, <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> it's like Japan. <laughs> it was like that. All right, let's see That's one funny. more. I guess I would say this is this is art related, but things uh, things about art, like certain aspects that I didn't keep up with as much is like like printmaking. It's kind of similar. Adam made me think uh, it, it came up when he when you mentioned wood blocking, like uh, well, woodworking. I'm sorry. Um, I would like I got pretty good at printmaking. It's like sp- specifically wood based. You know, when you like when you're yeah. carving and carving the wood out. And then I remember being uh, I remember my professor. When I was still in school, pulling me, pulling me aside and saying like, "Yo, you really got something." I really hope. It's out of the blue, and it, it felt good because I, I didn't like ask them. He just, well, she pulled me to the side. I was like, "Yo, I really hope you continue with this." Like, um, so that, and then just actually a week ago or so, I was revisiting some of our old AMS designs <laughs> that we did growing up, and I just remembered being up to like three, four in the morning on my because I wanted to. Coming up with some of those designs out of my head with no visuals. Like I think I still have them. I had them on like a flash drive. And some of the wow. stuff I came up with on that paint out of my head, I was like, I literally had to sit back and be like, I mean, at that time, how the fuck did I do this? I think about certain barriers maybe that I've like set up for myself um, later on in life, mentally mainly. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, yo, how did I do this with seemingly like no no fear or no i did i just didn't allow those same barriers to to stop me i remember being up like having that being moved man to like i'm gonna finish something um with no visuals just out of my head at the same time we were skating a lot too so i just Mm -hmm. i think when you're doing it you can kind of create the the movements in your in your head a little bit better but i remember those moments and we're like yo i know that's possible to get it back again so i just wish who knows? Kind of like Adam said, he would have been doing that for twenty years by now if he didn't stop. So back then, that would have been at least five or ten, and that's just mm-hmm. of, of progression. It would have been nice to see, yeah. you know. Now, so that's right, right on. Uh, I think for me, uh, I I miss being a researcher. Ooh, that was a that was a big thing for me at one point, especially when I was having my like. Um, spiritual awakening of sorts uh when i when i got like extra pro black about everything i was like developing my own numerology system and everything like i I was heavy into research of trying to like redefine uh simple and complex shit for me and um and yeah, I fell out of practice with that. And now if I read anything that's longer than like six paragraphs, I go to sleep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's a good one, man. That's what um, it is. So that that was that was a big thing for me. 
And uh Yeah, that's probably about it. Uh to be to be less serious. I I miss I miss talking to random people and being able to do that. To just like engage, engage with people that I that I may never see again. Because okay. of coronavirus? Right. No. Yeah, I was gonna ask. <laughs> no, that- uh just just in general get getting more introverted with age and being like yeah i'm good okay <laughs> let me comment really quick because i think you josh you and i have this conversation every few years where i'm like what you like you have an issue with that you're like yeah dog i'm not i'm not super comfortable with it no man i've seen you mingle you I, I, I've, I've seen you mingle around a room like it was nothing you and i have <laughs> the same conversation every few years <laughs> i'm like dog i've seen you i've seen you in action and, and, and I it, say that because Nat does yeah. the same thing with me. And she's like, yo, you just seem like yeah. you can do it to some random people or whatever. But mm-hmm. but I feel like I'm you in that situation with Nat. Where I'm like, no, it doesn't. It doesn't always feel like I can do it. Mm-hmm. But to other people, it seems like, wait, nah, what? And and I'm sure to some degree, and I hope this doesn't make you sound like arrogant or something, but I'm a generally charismatic guy. And yeah. so if you put me in an environment where I got to and there's no stakes if I got a schmooze, oh, I'm get me the fuck out of here. It's hard not to but, feel forced. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like if I gotta, if I gotta like sell my business or something, or like convince you to invest in something. Yeah. But if I'm just like at a cake bag or something like that, depending on the environment, if it's like, you know, if it's just a group of uh ethnically diverse people and there's weed and liquor and games and shit. Sure, I'm gonna feel out the room first. I'm not just hopping in, being like, "All right, bitches, what's up?" Like it's, <laughs> like, it's not. That's just not what I'm gonna do because I need to see who is that person and if I can fuck with you. Because if I can't, I'm going to recluse. I'm, 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 I'm. I know me. I'm going to. I'm going to try to avoid that energy if you are kind of a douche. <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, I like I think about uh Adam, you remember um <laughs> uh you remember back in the uh the AOL instant messenger days? Uh because this isn't even like real people shit, but this is just like being able to engage in things even if they're just funny. Do you remember uh a long time ago, if you're out there and you were a real person and not like an old man trying to prey on little kids? Uh <laughs> we we there was uh there was this it was me, you and Lamont. And we had engaged this girl named Angel. Angel. That sounds familiar. And Lamont said his name was Kunta Kente. <laughs> 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 and uh, I don't remember what fake names we gave ourselves, but we were, you know, just in some uh, in some AOL instant messenger chat with this chick named Angel and some person that she said was in her corner. Come to find, uh, uh, later on, she said that uh, she said she was originally from Florida. She had just moved to in uh, into uh, she had just moved up to Indiana, and uh, she was in witness protection. Now, all of these things sound like, <laughs> as an adult, red flags. <laughs> uh, um, and that she was there with protection because her uh, her best friend got brutally murdered. Her best friend and their mother got brutally murdered, found chopped up in, in a back alley and all that kind of stuff. And I was like, this, uh, again, as an adult, did you do this? Are you the person that chopped up someone and then moved away not to get caught? But, uh, but they were like, you know, uh, we moved up here, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and, and part of me goes, as an adult, I'd never engage in this conversation. As, as soon as you told me that thing, I'm I'm walking away most likely because I'm probably dying of laughter. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it, if I if it, in an electronic situation, because I'm sure you're not a real person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. I do remember the the situation of messaging. Mm-hmm. This person and think she had a friend, maybe. Yeah, she had a that. friend originally. I don't remember the chopped up in the alley part. <laughs> <laughs> Which you think I would remember that part, but uh, <laughs> but no, that that honestly, and I'm gonna get off subject a little bit here, but it's it's kind of like a funny story that happened to me recently. Mm-hmm. Um, about as far as you know, 
virtual red flags, but you still went with it just to see where it went. Where it went, right, right. So um, a couple weeks ago, I get a text message, and it was like, is this Adam Johnson? And I was like, um, depends on who this is. Like, right. I'm like who's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I said. I said, that's what I said. I said, who's Axon? And she said, uh, this is such and such from um, Helmets to Hard Hats. Uh, you know, are you still looking for employment? So I need to tell you what Helmets to Hard Hats is because that's vital to the story. Um, <clears throat> Helmets to Hard Hats is a I guess you could say it's an organization which they help veterans that that have separated or retired from the the, the military mm -hmm. um, to get employment in like trades, so like carpentry, electrician, that that world, you know, elevator, mechanic, like whatever, plumbing. So that's that's what Helmet Tar Hats is, um, which I am a part of. I am part of that that organization. Like I, I I've applied to them and et cetera. Um, so I was like, okay, this seems valid. And then I was like, yeah, I'm I'm still looking for, you know, employment, whatever. And then they were like, okay, are you available to uh to are you are you available to interview and some some something? I was like, Yeah. And I, this is already it's kind of throwing me off. Like, you're texting me this? Like this seems like a <laughs> A phone conversation. Be, yeah, this is like it should be a phone conversation. <laughs> like, you see, you just have some extra time, <laughs> or or an email, like yeah, something but, more professional. <laughs> but I was like, okay, it's twenty twenty one. You know, maybe maybe things are different in the in the <laughs> workforce. I don't know. Um, so I went with it, and then they, and then she said, uh, "Do you have WhatsApp or Skype?" And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, I have WhatsApp." And then she's like, "Okay, um, he's gonna be." Message or he's gonna talk to you on there. So I'm thinking, okay, because you know like how you can do calls on WhatsApp. Yeah. I was like, okay, maybe they're gonna call. Like, well, why can't you just call my phone? But I was like, I want just let's let's just go with it. I was like, okay. So I I get on WhatsApp. Now I'm talking to this guy. I guess I guess it's a guy, and then he asks me, um, okay, uh, so he's like, okay, so I want you to introduce yourself, but you already know my name, but. He said, like, I just want you to introduce introduce yourself and tell me uh, you know, where you're from. And then in parentheses put he put uh city state zip code. I'm like, oh shit. This like I like, okay, I already know I know I think I know where this is going, but I'm gonna just humor this person. So I like obviously they they know my name already. How I don't know. So I just put my name, I'm I'm blah blah blah, and I'm put from from uh Maryville, Indiana. And I put in the Maryville zip code because I'm like, I'm not putting my actual information, but I still want right. it to be like close. Far close off. To, yeah. yeah. Um, just so because I don't want to put Hawaii. And like, OK, he, you know, he's not falling for whatever this is. So <laughs> anyway, so then he, he said, OK, cool. And then he sent me this thing about their company. Oh, it's important. It's important to say that. Um whoever these people were they say that they got my information from helmets our hat which is sort of valid but they were actually a company called i forgot what the company was uh but it's a company out of australia and mm. i was like okay that's that that could be a thing because you know companies can be from somewhere but have offices in, in the states so mm -hmm. i was like okay so anyway so he sent me this kind of like about us type thing and i was like how much you want to bet if i copy and paste this this is going to show up somewhere online and I, sure enough, I copied it and pasted it on Google, and it's just from the about me section of that company. But I was like, okay, well, maybe that's just what they do. But like, it still was a little bit off. Mm -hmm. So I kept going with it, and I was like, okay, you know, cool, blah blah blah. And then he's like, um, then he said, here's here's a list of positions um, that we offer you. What would you be interested in? Then he is a list of positions, and every one of these jobs, they were like desk white collar type jobs like uh hr uh they they were all like desk type jobs and i'm like but as i mentioned helmets hard hats is a program that gets people into trades being yeah elect electrician carpentry plumbing stuff like that and i was like um these positions don't look like anything helmets hard hats would offer so i'm a little confused here and then he's like so you know so i was like so that being said i'm i'm not i'm not interested in doing any of these jobs and he's like 
but we but we have training. Um, the starting rate is forty five dollars an hour, and I'm like, oh, like, okay, that sounds great, but helmets or hard hats don't offer these type of jobs. So I'm I'm a little thrown off. <laughs> um, and then, uh, crap, what do you say next? Actually, I don't think he said. I don't think he said. I, no, I know, I know. He said. I'll, I asked him where are they located. That, that's what I asked them. Mm-hmm. And, and, and they're like, "Well, we're an offshoring company, which is true. That company that they mentioned is an offshoring company, but we have offices in Maryville, Indiana, <laughs> the mm-hmm. city that I happen to be from. So they have mm-hmm. office in Maryville, Indiana, and two other places in the states, just random places." And I was like, "Okay." So, and then that's when I was like, "Okay, I'm gonna drop the act." And I was like, "So you mean to tell me that?" This Australian company just happens to have an office in small town, Indiana, which happens to be the exact city that I said I was from, which I'm not from. <laughs> right near South Lake Mall. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, you guys are, are texting me an interview that I just, well, I just went in on these people and they, they never responded. But it was just, of course, it was just funny. Yeah. It was like, come on, man. Like, like from the get go, it was off. Mm. Well, I mean, from the get-go, it, it wasn't. I, I just figured they would call me after the initial thing. Right. Mm-hmm. The fact that they kept this texting back and forth. I was like, I wish I knew what the company was called. Um, Because it turns out there is some type of scam with them. Well, not mm-hmm. the company itself, but people are using the company to... <laughs> to scam people. But it's like, I'm trying to figure out what they were... I guess they were trying to get personal info out of me, I'm guessing. like Yeah, they, they're probably going to try to do some identity theft shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bro, they I get calls at least every other day that my phone just automatically silences because they're like scams or some shit. Every other day. And it's, sometimes it's the shit happens so often I don't blame you for trying to have a little fun. Like yeah, yeah it is fun trolling the scammers. <laughs> like wasting their time and just making yeah. them feel bad. Yeah. I've actually thought about changing my number before. Like but it just, that that would be a hassle too. But yeah, yeah. yeah I get but that's actually like one of the most thought out more thought out ones like than the yeah. ones I'm that s- that try to scam me yeah i'm still <laughs> tripping how they got my information like how they get the helmets to hard hats information because that's very specific that's the part that i'm tripping on like okay it's probably public it's probably public. Uh, yeah i guess so because like that's the part that that's what made it seem real though initially i'm like it's like this seems real but i know it's not but i'm like mm. but th- then i ended up saying i was like even if this isn't a scam I have no interest in working for a company that wants to interview me via text message. So, um, <laughs> yeah. so I'll just take my loss if this is real. Sending, you're sending emojis and shit. Like, you yeah, did like, it. One <laughs> <laughs> well, Thank you for that epic tale. Well, <laughs> 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 it's actually funny. I actually got one right now. It's like a silence call from a scam, literally as we're talking. Dang. Yo, I get at least six to eight every day. If, and That's like, I'm glad my, my phone started telling me what numbers are actually verified numbers. Because yeah, I'm like, if, unless you're a verified number or a number I have saved, I don't answer it. Me neither. Yeah. Like, they can leave a message if it's important. That's my logic. And I'm, I they know y'all not going to leave a message, right? Yeah. They always talking about car insurance, and I know it's a scam because I don't. <laughs> yeah. I'm not good at car insurance. Being <laughs> or, that, or they're like, you know, uh, it's like car insurance, or it's like uh, something about your own. Um, I've never heard um, somebody say, I'm um, not good at car insurance. <laughs> 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 I'm always lapsing and stuff like that. It's like, that's, not, that's not a skill. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, see that if, language. Yeah. What if that was yeah, yeah, what if that was your answer to the question? What do you wish you you still did? Alright, to wrap up, oh, y'all. Man. Let's uh um yo, we've been getting some audience interaction. And I'm saying yes. that because you know we're almost 40 episodes. Would this be like episode 40? So uh, we we finally got more. So we, we want to thank y'all. Four. 41. 41. This is episode 41. <laughs> and so we want to thank y'all for uh for it's sending crazy. that in. And this comes from uh the homie Elias. Uh an old student, a old student of mine uh from, from my collegiate occupation. And so uh he sends in a one gotta go dad edition. Mm. Four choices are, and this is about the characters. Not the actors before anybody, like, you know, 
makes a deal about it because it's dad edition. So one of these should be obvious, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. We got Uncle Phil. First things ba- first. Huh? Yes. First things first. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> rest, yeah. <laughs> rest in peace, James Avery. Uh, so Uncle Phil, Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> also, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. Mm. Bernie Mac show. Oh, fuck us. Cliff Huxtable. Mm. Doctor That's what that, er- that earlier warning was toward. <laughs> talk about Cliff. That disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Cliff Huxtable. <laughs> Most of y'all made bad decisions. <laughs> Even though yeah. it's called the Cosby Show and the character is named Cliff Huxtable. We want to be clear on this differentiation. Yeah, we don't. Know, and we got. We don't know Bill. <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't know Cliff either. But uh, we had <laughs> Willie Willie Pops Jones from Friday. Mm. I say it again. We got Uncle Phil. We got Uncle Bernie. One we got go. Cliff Huxtable, and we got I, Pops from Friday. I already know. And so, say, I, first of all, okay. We're gonna say who you who's the first one you're keeping. Mm, okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do the list like the first one you're keeping, and then the second one you're keeping, and then your 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 possible last choice or the one that's got to go. Let's do it like that. Okay. Okay. First so who, one I'm, who you keeping? The first one I'm keeping is is uh, Phil. I just feel like he really cared. Though. I just like that he just was a good good dad. You know, and I, yeah. I would need a good dad in my life. I would need this. <laughs> pause, 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 pause. But uh, <laughs> jokes. Is, is that change. a pause moment? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I, yo, I can see, yo, I can see social media tearing me up saying I, I need a good dad in my life. I, get, I mean, if you say a good daddy. You said I daddy. Been, yeah, <laughs> daddy. Like, there we go. <laughs> I almost did. I, almost, I literally I almost did. I almost added that. Why? But uh, yeah, Phil just seemed like a good father, yo. I'm keeping him off the strength of like, I mean, being like having some money too, you know, <laughs> but uh, but more so being a good dad. The king of Bel Air. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, that would make him the king of Bel Air. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to agree with that. Uncle Phil, uh, I personally, I feel like Uncle Phil was the best dad on this list. He's the best like father on this list for me. As far as like uh Stuff. he 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 was a good role model. Um, I don't know how I personally feel about the whole like he's a black Republican thing. Uh he was a judge, which means he's a part of this uh uh justice system, which I also <laughs> don't care for. Um <laughs> so it's it's aspects about like him as a person that I'm like, eh, these choices don't really make sense, you know how. How much you really trying to make sure you're in with the white elite as a Republican, yada, yada, yada. But as a dad and the person that he was trying to be and the man he was trying to be for not only Will, but his actual biological children, he was, he was a good guy. Okay. And, so. you know your, and you know your first car is going to be some crazy. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? For me, I, I got to keep Cliff. Cliff Huxtable. Keeping Cliff? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I do. Oh, there to be some controversy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we talk about Cliff. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> like, like, man, like, the Cosby show, man, like, it was so, I swear, I mean, it was funny, obviously, but, <laughs> yes, like, it was like, I don't know, man, it, like, it's so many scenes in that, in that, in that show was like, it's just a classic scenes and like, his, his humor was like he was never like in your face. Of what mm-hmm. his com- not that Philip Banks was either. Actually, he wasn't even a comedic character. No, uh, but I would um, say that he was kind of in your face though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yo, there were some intense scenes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of him doing some fathering. <laughs> yeah, because of the, of the four here too, he's the only classically trained actor. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, uh, he's a good. You could tell he's a good actor. Yeah. But as far as just like if Black Chris saying, if we're talking about the character, I think Cliff Huxley, man, like I think about that shirt, that episode uh, of <laughs> Theo when he wanted to buy that shirt 
mm. um that, that silly shirt that was expensive or whatever like his like mm. like his like when he was when he called him like stupid or something like that like man it's just like not that that's the reason but it's just like but that's a classic thing yes and so i'm gonna say cliff he's gotta he's gotta stay got marco who you got so i got a little like shout out to uh <laughs> The the dad from Family Matters, man. He, uh, he didn't he didn't go. Carl, oh, sh- yeah. sh- shout out to Carl Winslow. <laughs> Honorable mention to Carl. <laughs> <Honorable mention. laughs> it would make sense to put him in there versus. Uh, I agree. Pops yeah, versus cause, pops because it's sitcom. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. And I but, saw this clip the other day that was uh, it was like um, what's the son name, man? On what? Family Matters. Oh, you are talking uh, about um. um Eddie Winslow, yeah, Eddie, Eddie Winslow, Eddie. yeah, yeah, yeah. Eddie, Eddie got pulled over, like, and the police was harassing uh, him or whatever because he was mm-hmm. black or whatever, and he like stood up for him, and and it was a it was a show about the you know injustice in the police force and all that. Right. So honorable mention to, to honorable to mention boy. Carl Winslow, yes. Mm-hmm. Since all the rest Carl. of us, <laughs> Carl, <laughs> 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 honey, <laughs> he used to always. Um, Never mind, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to think which one I'm gonna keep, man. Uh, I don't know, man. This is hard. Um, but I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna pick a random. <laughs> <laughs> just, just pull, pull that shit out of a hat real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Burning Back just to mix it up, man. Cause I feel like I feel like. <laughs> It will just be funny living with this dude. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. Like, I would I would like try to irritate him just <laughs> just to have him go on them rants, man. <laughs> 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 no, I, I would probably put him on social media. Like <laughs> nah, he just he seemed like a like a fun, like a fun guy, man. Mm-hmm. And he's obviously one of the one of the top comedians ever. So I think it would have been fun times. And he like a, he like one of them OG, like, <laughs> he like one of them OG type uncles or something. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So uh, I'll mix it up and say Bernie Mac from Bernie Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Mac from Bernie Mac show. Aaron, what's your second choice? All right. So we got, we got Phil, Bernie, Pops. So yeah, you, you took Phil, you took Uncle Phil lost. So you got Bernie, you got Pops, you got Cliff. Okay. I'm probably going with I'm gonna go with uh I'm gonna go with Mr. Huxable, man. I feel like <laughs> Doctor. I, Doctor. Yeah, 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 Doctor, my bad, my bad. Let me get this man his yeah, let me get this man his credibility real quick. <laughs> you know he saw he sold enough uh jello and shit to become a doctor i got you uh, <laughs> he, he was actually oh, he was, he was put in, uh, put in. Uh, uh not an ob but uh what, what's the, t- the technical term for a person who delivers the one those to deliver i have no yeah, idea i don't know uh i know i know I like I, I thought women are called like midwives and shit like that well, i don't know what no but it's the person who actually works for the hospital though uh um a midwife or a doula don't technically work for the, the hospital Oh shit! I'm, I'm I don't have no clue there. Uh, uh, Marco, you want to you know Google this term? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like really trying to. I was trying to go from experience. Like, what was it called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping Cliff just because I feel like he was he would be the second best father <laughs> out of that group. Um, I just feel like he also cared, y'all. And like he was just mm-hmm. he was he was funny. I'm remembering like some moments where he where they dealt with like like we say like they dealt with more serious topics, um, and I, I like the way he handled them. I, I, I like the way that was handled in that show. How he kind of he kept he kept things lighthearted and humorous as well, particularly on like intense scenes and like tough topics. I like that, but but like you know, still got the point across. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. So I'm keeping the homie Cliff for sure. So. It, I believe it is an OB G. Oh, it is. So I think, yeah. okay. I didn't That's know what I was trying to think of a for different. them. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't, I, I wasn't sure if that was a correct term or not. Where, so yeah, he was yeah. A, um, 
So I'm going <laughs> to go for... You would be, I guess. It's, yeah, I was about to say interesting uh, <laughs> field of choice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be wild and go for Uncle Bernie. Mm. On, only because <laughs> I I kind of align with him in a sense of I don't know the many times Cliff showed you how stupid you were. Besides. The the uh, I I I feel I feel kind of particularly like blackly bad that I can't think of the name of the shirt, um. But that because I because I, I have a I have a G, but I can't think of the name. Um, uh, I can't think of it either. <laughs> Marco, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, the shirt uh, from the co- from the episode. Which episode? Bad, bad shirt. <laughs> 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 me doing the haystack in this one. Save, Season three, episode me. three. <laughs> Save me. Yo, what song was playing? And <laughs> then I honestly feel like that was the first episode for some reason. Nah, real. it was it was in there, but okay. it was I don't think it was the first episode. It's like Gar Trail or something like that. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> yes, <laughs> Juventus. It, it's as far as like. Some tie dye shirt. <laughs> love, ver- love versus the 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 disciplinarian. Mm-hmm. So, um, so it wasn't about Denise, like making a copy of a expensive yes, designer shirt. It was okay. So that was uh, they don't they don't actually say what the um, hold on the the, the, the designer's <laughs> name. <Yeah. laughs> well, hold, hold on, it was a okay. It is an episode with 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 him too, with Theo with the shirt too. That should be the same okay. episode. So as he looks up that, um, I, I I got the visual of it. I just I don't know what what it's called. Mm-hmm. Okay, Gordon Gartrell. I know he was right. Gordon Gartrell. Yeah. Um, Gigi. But yeah, uh, I I think Bernie's <laughs> Ber- Bernie. Bernie, make you feel stupid. And sometimes you need your parent to show you the stupidity in your actions. And lovingly. Like, on top of that, the things that they dealt with was like a little more uh with the with the present day, like and how you gotta handle it, kind of. <laughs> to me, to me, it seemed no there, there was a little more realism in there. Yeah. Only that's because what I'm trying to say. Realism. Uh, Cosby Show had a had a bit of a um a, a bit of optimistic uh, optimism to its tone. It talked about real things, but this idea of this family uh, this family with a OBGYN dad and a lawyer mom living in a brownstone in Brooklyn. Yeah, it was kind of like oh, it was a, idealistic. It was idealistic. Thank you. And uh, and the Bernie Mac like they argued, they went through stuff and. Mm-hmm. I mean, in Cosby, they kind of a little bit, but I feel like in Bernie Mac, there was po- those points of conflict, but it, it was hmm. never really conflict between uh, uh, Cliff and Claire. Yeah, and I and um, I understand what you know. It was important at this time. That's what I was saying for his time. Absolutely, like, for his it time, was yeah. important for his time to show that because a lot of people didn't think that <laughs> his black families out there. That's that looked like that. And yeah. You need that kind of, you need that yeah, kind of yeah, imagery. Yeah. And so, so the imagery of it was powerful and all of that. But I I, I think Bernie Mac's situation, you know, and uh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I actually feel like I would want to be one of the Cosby kids more than I want to be one more of Bernie Mac's kids. But I liked Bernie's fathering a little more than Cliff's. So Yo, that, that shirt is Not ridiculous, okay. man. Adam, you gotta, you gotta, flash, you gotta flash that shirt on. The <laughs> it's ridiculous. Adam, Marco, who you got second? Who I got second? Man, I I gotta go with Uncle Phil, man. Second, uh, of course, of course, you do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yo, we gotta. They, I, I like the way uh, Will and him like bounced off of each other as mm-hmm. far as the the dynamic of the show itself 
uh it would be cool to be able to like crack jokes at your dad <laughs> like he did like, <laughs> yeah. like he hit him with some some haymakers at times so. <laughs> he was just kind of, bored about it yeah that's kind of funny that they you know had that type of relationship even though it wasn't real i mean right. i mean all of this is <laughs> fantasy <laughs> it's all fictional yes <laughs> adam uh i'm gonna say uncle phil as well too uh yeah, I mean, I, honestly, kind of the same thing that that uh, Marcus was saying. Like, uh, it was cool because this is more so related to Will, but like, w- Will was able to be himself around mm-hmm. it, everybody in that family, and it, it was just funny watching like Phil get frustrated, but it's like it never got too far, you know. Whereas like he was like, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna kick you out of the house or something crazy, like right? That, but, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, Uncle Phil. All right, so for this last one, you're saying who your last choice is, plus who who you getting the fuck out of here. And so uh, uh, I know we we hitting the clock, so so I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna make everybody happy and take <laughs> pops. <laughs> Get out of here, Bill. <laughs> or Cliff. Get out of here, Cliff. Just to appease those that <laughs> feel that way. <laughs> <laughs> also pops pops was 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 super funny man he was just, just somebody to laugh at <laughs> <laughs> not with <laughs> now, he was now, see, i, I, feel, I, just, I feel the I'm, opposite of that is that pops was funny because he was a trash father <laughs> exactly <laughs> so i'm, I'm, I'm like, go i'm gonna go with cliff because Cause pops was trash. Like, pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, kicking pops to the curb too, man. I'm going with Bernie for sure. Like, yo, when pops gets done taking a shit, you can't go on that motherfucker for two hours at least. So, well, it's pops, 30, 45 gotta go. minutes. I've got to go, man. I've got to go. Th- it's thirty forty five minutes. Yeah, according to the script. <laughs> according to the script. <laughs> Pop. But um, <laughs> he, he got to go. I'm I'm keeping pops, man. Uh, Bernie Mac, rest in peace. But I gotta keep pops because uh, oh man, it's like I th- I think about that movie Friday, man. It's like it's just you don't have the movie without him. It's like nobody okay, could have, yeah, nobody could have replaced him. It's just like it's not even mm-hmm. the same. Obviously, not the same movie, but like there's so many. Although he was the main character, it's like there's so many things that people still say. Mm-hmm. Uh quotes from him people still yes. say to this day like 30 years later uh people probably quote him more than anybody else in that movie <laughs> you know his his joe rogan interview well, smoky was, was amazing smoky. too it's yeah. amazing yeah oh awesome. yeah smoky yeah, yeah it was like people quote Tr- chris tucker most i'm sure yeah but uh i agree with you on that 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 movie isn't anything without him i think pops is a great example of or john witherspoon in general he's yeah, a great example too. of rest in peace absolutely um, yeah, this list. Yeah, we lost yeah. on this list, man. <laughs> Is Carl Winslow still alive? Has anyone checked on what's his name, <laughs> Lavelle? Uh, what what's his real name? What is up with him? Um, I'll check. <laughs> 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 uh, but I agree. I agree with you that John was great at. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Reginald Bell Johnson. Yeah. Reginald Bell Johnson. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um. Yes, he is the very he weird. Sixty-eight. <laughs> Sixty-eight. Hey, that's yeah, it. Young? Yeah, I thought he'd be older. Wow. Um. But yeah, he uh uh John Witherspoon was great at never really being a main character, but always being memorable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's like true. he all he was always like just uh making sure that you that you. Knew he was there and he resonated with you. He stayed with you. Uh, that was always a regardless of the project, whether it be Friday, whether it be Wayne's Brothers, Boomerang, like his his presence was also always very known. Yeah, that's true. Was, he, yeah. he shine, he very really shined in that way for sure. And it was yeah. great to see that he worked to the day he died. And he was happy about working to the day he died. Yeah. Yeah. He he was all about his money. <laughs> That dude told some epic stories, man, in his interviews. Mm -hmm. Yeah. (laughs) So uh, So, apparently, uh, your boy Reginald has been (laughs) been busy 
Like, still, uh, he was in Avengers Endgame, if y'all don't remember that. <laughs> he was? <laughs> he was a fire chief, it said. Oh, I say deleted scene. Dang. Okay, I was like, <laughs> I don't remember. There's no way I would have, like, not. Yeah. Like, <laughs> come, on, <laughs> come on, you got to keep him in there, man. I know. Y'all got to keep him in there. You know, I catch him on the catch him on the DVD. Speaking of that, but, I know we're man. like uh this is a super quick question. Like, have y'all watched the um the new series? Uh, uh Falcon uh, and uh Winter Soldier. Yeah, it was on the new episode available. Yeah, I just watched it last night. It's pretty good. Watch what? I hope so. Falcon uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. New Marvel uh, show. No. Shit. No. Yeah. I, I I found it hilarious, like how how Disney is about this rollout because as soon as the first episode came out, they were like, All right, y'all, Loki is coming. And I was like, You You've barely started the series that you just put out, and they're already promoting the next show. Yeah, I, I knew they were, they were making Loki. I didn't know when it would come out, but right, I remember. I, I wonder if they're gonna just roll them out after because you obviously have you noticed that this came out right after WandaVision ended, mm-hmm. which I'm good with that. That's cool with me. So if they it's just smart. do it after every, they just keep putting series out until the next big film comes out. It's real smart because, yeah. you know, nostalgia can only keep you so far as far mm-hmm. as the rest of the content on Disney Plus. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Uh, but that's why I was so hesitant to, to get in Disney Plus. And then I eventually got it because I really wanted to check out um, Mandalorian. Yeah. And I was like, OK. And then WandaVision came out, which I enjoyed. Mm-hmm. So now mm-hmm. I'm going to check out this Falcon uh, series. So. Yeah. You know, it's going to be interesting to see, like, with uh, Disney Plus in their Marvel um, series versus hbo and dc's uh like real life series uh, i gotta watch that too because some of because they, I, I believe they have uh green lantern coming out mm. and um uh you know um they already have their cw stuff uh right going on so right which one of those and i haven't on? uh i haven't gotten gotten uh my spirit right to watch this uh four hour yeah Snyder cut. <laughs> yeah i'm definitely not gonna watch it in one sitting but still. no me neither i might watch two hours tonight two hours tomorrow just to... yeah something like that I'll break yeah. that shit up but all right y'all thank you very much for another episode of the inform the honest podcast we want to thank y'all for joining us uh fellas any last words any last thoughts just uh we need some more reviews. Like we get we we getting a little bit more ratings on, on our Apple Podcast, but we need some mm. text. Yes. Some, some words. To yeah. Let us know thoughts doing. into words. True. Please <laughs> provide some feedback. If That's you're it. listening to us on Apple Podcast, appreciate you. Uh Aaron, Mark, y'all, you're good. Yeah, good, keep providing man. the feedback, so. y'all. Let us know. Yeah. Yes, we want to thank y'all for uh listening. Thank you for writing in. Uh shout out to Elias whose question was answered today. We'll continue to roll out at least one uh audience uh fee- uh, uh, uh input, piece of input. I can't talk. Uh every right. episode going <laughs> forward. And so yo, appreciate you. Bring it on in, bring it on in. And every conversation, engagement, uh interaction that you have uh after you have looked us up on Instagram and, you know, liked, uh, comment, subscribe on YouTube and all of those things. We want to encourage you to make sure that you're being forthright, vulnerable, and most of all, honest. (laughs) Peace. Peace out. Peace out. Thanks for listening. (laughs) 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 Without shedding a tear for my brother. I really want to try for my brother Cause I truly do feel for my brother